He's the head of one of the world's top 100 energy companies, a Japanese giant backing 70 projects across 26 countries. But for all of his power, Naoki Kuroda doesn't flaunt it. Outside his homeland, the diminutive 71-year-old is a reluctant media performer, and never before in Australia has he agreed to a one-on-one -on -one interview. We were given that chance, albeit in a strictly managed event, where Mindus allowed us to ask just four questions. Kuroda san, thank you very much for your time with us today. Can I start by asking you exactly when did you decide that Darwin would be the best place for this project? In the year 2009, we made a decision to locate our LNG plant in Darwin. And uh, in September 2009, uh, I myself made an announcement to, to locate the project in Darwin. How important is this project for MPEX? As you know, the, uh, this project uh, will make our production level about 1.5 times when the, the production level starts. So you can understand that, uh, how big, how important is this project. And the, from another point, the, the, this, is, this investment is the biggest overseas investment by Japanese company in the history. So the, you can imagine the magnitude of this project. Further to that, what do you think it means for relations between the Northern Territory, Australia and Japan? I think the Northern Territory or Australia uh, will uh, get big benefits from this project in terms of uh, regional development or economic growth or employment. So the, I, I, I hope that the, uh, they will take advantage of the benefits as much as possible. But on, on, on the other side, uh, Japan uh, has benefits from this project uh, by importing a lot of energy. And finally, after all of the planning, how excited are you that today it's finally here? Yes, uh, I, I'm very much excited. But on the other hand, I feel relieved because the, I could uh, uh, keep my promise to locate uh, the LNG plant in Darwin. Because, because I made an announcement uh, three uh, years ago, and uh, I, today I could uh, finally keep my purpose. And does the hard work start now? I think so. The, this is the end of, of the, uh, the, the end of the beginning, but the next the construction phase will start the, uh, from today. So the, we have a lot of work to do. And uh, it's very important to manage the schedule and cost. Yeah. Exciting times. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much for, uh, on behalf of all Territorians, for making Darwin uh, your decision. It's, uh, it's great for the Northern Territory, and we hope it's great for Impact. Mm, thank you very much. After the break on Bright Horizon, we're with the major players as they celebrate a done deal. Uh, good health. Cheers. Good health. They're the big four who made it happen. Chief Minister Paul Henderson, INPEX Chairman Naoki Kuroda, Federal Resources Minister Martin Ferguson, and Jean-Marie Guillemot, the Asia-Pacific Vice President of Total. With their deal locked away, the final investment decision announced and media commitments completed, it was time to celebrate as they strode with purpose to an exclusive invitation-only luncheon at the waterfront. Inside, a territory toast. Cheers. A quick Japanese beer followed by a drop of the finest sake and an official toast to the project. So uh, at this moment I'd like to propose a toast to Ipsis project and the uh, Darwin community. Hey. Hey. To quote the day's host, the FID didn't solely represent the final investment decision, it also stood for Friends in Darwin. 
So there it is. We hope that's given you a better idea of exactly what Impex is all about. If you still need convincing though, this should put it into context. The entire territory budget annually is about five and a half billion dollars. Remember, Impex is 34 billion. And here's an interesting postscript. During our interview with local Impex boss Sean Kildare, he hinted that the processing of ichthys gas in Darwin might be just the beginning. Yes, we have uh, allowed in total for six trains. Uh, we have an eye to the expansion case for the future. We're exploring aggressively across uh, northern and western uh, parts of Australian waters. Uh, and we have some very promising acreage uh, currently in our care and um, we have every confidence that in the future we will uh, we'll have those expansion opportunities uh, available to take up the, the additional space we've allowed for at Bladen Point. Contracts for Stage 1 were signed today with JKC, the joint venture constructing the onshore facility, and work will begin within weeks. The Territory took a bold step in stealing this project from WA. Now it's time to deliver.